Hey everyone, it's Aaron from Testo, and today we are at Brandywine TCHS in Downingtown, Pennsylvania to take a closer look at the Testo 560i digital refrigerant scale and intelligent valve. First, before we get started, let's do a couple basics here before we get set up. First thing we want to make sure is to review the information that comes with the unit. You generally have an instruction manual or an installer's guide. You also have a data plate which is located right down here. This will give you the most important information you're going to need to be able to charge a system, whether it's by the weight that it comes from the factory or whether it has a specific value such as subcooling, which some units do have. Next, we're going to want to also take a look at how long our line set is. You may not have this information, so you always want to verify it up front when you get there. And also, if you can't find the information from the manufacturer, always consult them before doing any kind of work or service on a unit. We also want to keep in mind the ambient conditions. When it's very cold out, you're going to want to charge by weight. When it's warm out, that's when you're going to want to make sure you have your temperature split, which is generally about 15 to 20 degrees to make sure the unit is operating efficiently. A lot of times, temperatures and humidity are going to impact the way that these units work. So by the 560i and what it's going to be able to do with you is going to be able to give you that, those readings at a data level with your manifolds, your smart probes, your digital smart manifolds, all working together to be able to get everything to what you need to get your job done quickly and efficiently. So let's go ahead and hook this up and test it.